Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Shubham Singh Hania, and I'm your mentor for UGC NET Paper One, Paper Two Commerce and Management. So today we have a very very special guest. We have Mr. Divyam Jain, who has qualified his UGC NET GRF exam in commerce in his first attempt, and then he went on to crack the prestigious uh, interview for PhD at IIM Kashipur. So today we are going to discuss with him that what has been his preparation strategy. And let me tell you that he has been in contact with me for the last two years. and he has put in a lot of efforts a lot of dedicated efforts and he is coming from a lot of background in terms of the number of experiences that he has done in terms of education as well as interviews so you are going to have a wonderful time so i welcome you uh, divyam please say hi to all our viewers uh, thank you so much sir uh, hello everyone i am divyam jain and uh, recently i have joined as a research scholar at i am kashipur and uh, sir it's wonderful to be here with you like it's the it's the first like video interaction that we are having in the last two years but yeah one thing i would like to tell in pride that shubham sir helps me a lot every personal insight that uh, whatever feelings the ups and downs that i have i shared with him and the best part is sir cleared it right away with a very clear clear concepts and very clear assertions So I would say, sir, thank you so much. In the starting itself, I should say in the last, but yeah, I'm very grateful to you for that. Most welcome, most welcome, Devim. You have also put in a lot of efforts in these two years, and I have actually seen that transformation of efforts in you. So that's wonderful. So I'm sure that students are going to learn a lot from your experiences today. So my first question to you is that tell us something about your educational qualification. What have you pursued? What have you cleared? What are the other aspects that you have looked upon during your graduation and post graduation? So yeah, I have uh, like I have done my graduation from Sri Guru Gobind Singh College of Commerce, University of Delhi. I I like I pursued for the B Com honors as a degree. Uh, then after that, uh, along with my bachelor's, I get into to the chartered accountancy field as well. I cleared my intermediate level with the chartered accountancy part. Uh, that happens. that uh, i feel that it is not a appropriate thing for me like i am not i haven't made for it so i started looking for the new avenues you got mm -hmm. time while your graduation to think upon that what you should do in your life especially when you talk about the delhi university the atmosphere is very very much uh, enthusiastic and people are doing lot many of things so somewhere somewhat you it it gives you the platform to think that what do you want to do in your life so i find research is a good subject i always aspire my professors right from my school education so yeah i look for the research background and that is why i chose to go for my masters as a secondary qualification so i i joined university of rajasthan to uh, uh, to come like to complete my masters in commerce in abst stream uh, then i cleared my ug like uh, ugc net jrf in june 2019 itself so it was the end of my first year of my uh, masters so, uh, so yeah if i say as a academic background i have this and okay currently i am in my final semester of my masters okay wonderful so i think that you have come from a lot of good background and the academic qualification also fills in a lot of aspect that you are also coming from chartered accountancy course so a lot of good background in finance and accountancy as well yeah okay so my next question to you is that what has been your score in your ugc net exam since you have cleared it in your first attempt So we would like to know your score as well. Yeah. So uh, in cumulation, I I scored two hundred six marks. Uh, I scored sixty six marks in the paper one, and one hundred forty marks in paper two, combining to ninety nine point eight zero percent. Right. Okay. I think that's fabulous. And uh, since you have cleared it in your first attempt also. So, काफी अच्छा motivation and काफी अच्छा confidence रहता होगा. So my next question to you is that. Uh, How did you start your preparation for PhD after clearing your NET JRF? I mean, when start you? How did you start? What were your initial steps for your preparation? Well, clearing UGC NET JRF in the first attempt gives me a lot much of confidence. Since I dropped the chartered accountancy, so every student can relate that that gives you setback in life. That wherever you drop a thing in between, and that like the pressure from the family, from and everyone like. Why you are dropping such a prestigious course? Everybody knows in the commerce stream that chartered accountancy is the is a premium of the courses. So, yeah, it's a good blotter for me to 
clear UGC and NJRF in the first step. But yeah, right after clearing, uh, I started thinking like I have that fe- like I have that thought with me that I want to go for the research as a field. So I started looking. First of all, I started looking for the institutions through which I can enroll myself for the research, and what are the basic requirements those institutions are having. Uh, so as we know that the top-notch institutions that we got every time in the list, IIMs and the IITs. The beautiful that I, thing that I observed is every institution has a different set of expectations and requirements from their prospective PhD candidates. Uh, one thing is very common that they require a research background or knowledge set in the in the prospective candidates. So I started taking the gradual steps. I joined uh, for, so initially as a pointer one. I can say I I joined uh, one of the professors in like the regional MBA college as a research assistant. I think that's a very smart choice to. I would think I would suggest everyone to do that if you are aspiring for PhD, because they that will give you somewhat that will give you an idea, a briefer idea that what research is all about. How simply your mentor can say, "Kali ye karke le aana." Mm. <laughs> you need to put whole of your night in that. That gives you the real touch. That what things will going to be, mm. and. Uh, i create like some with the time i built a informal relation as well with my professor they told me the real insights how research is working what is what is its status in india mm. uh and uh, secondly uh, what i would like to suggest everyone is uh, prepare a list for the institutions you are aspiring and specifically prepare a excel sheet and note down the dates when the application will going to start and end because that is the biggest and the most basic mistake that everybody makes that they miss the applications yes i miss the application for xlri i really aspire to apply that because it is one of the reputed institutions but i missed it because i i we get into a lethargy in that joyfulness that yeah i cleared an exam <laughs> so yeah that is the thing that is the second thing that i do i did and thirdly i started looking for the subject that's the most com- basic and the most required thing that should be done uh so i have a good background with the finance subject uh so initially i explored finance as a subject and uh, uh for that i st- like i referred the basic handbooks hmm. primary handbooks that i got and uh, i got into contact with shubham sir right at the starting of my master somewhat because the basic first question that i asked is sir should i join rajasthan university for my master <laughs> because i was from delhi university and that shift is a big blow for my life so sir suggested me that that focus on your jr if you are if you are looking for research as a field so yeah sir suggested me books primary books that i that i referred i i studied finance just like a engineer does that that i know nothing about it so that it gives you two advantages first of all it prepares you it gives you the confidence regarding the basic things basic pillars this on with the subject lies and secondly now since you have the thing in your mind that i want to go for the research you start scanning everything in that way only hmm. that is there is anything available here which i can explore upon which i can look upon uh say as a fourth point like every generic student do i explored google that uh, it's a good way to do like you can open up the websites for uh, top like some international universities if you will open the duke school duke Interna- like business school or harvard or any of the business school london school of economic they have a separate corner for the researches in uh, over their pages they have mentioned the prominent topics or the leading research topics Mm-hmm. or which they are working or they aspire to work so they that gives you a strong re, like strong basis on over which you can like you can choose for your research and i started looking for those topics individually daily i started spending time with myself that uh, you you know you must ek story honi chahiye dimag mein i should say mm-hmm. be, be, before opting for any subject you must have a story you must have a story in your mind Like yes, this is why I want to go for this subject. 
over on uh, and similarly that story goes on with this topic as well like in this subject i want to go in this topic and over in this topic i want to go in this particular niche so accordingly a story frames completely so yeah these are the four steps that i should say that i opted for initially yeah so like i have already told all my viewers that he is coming from a lot of background so he is gonna whatever he is gonna tell you you are gonna find it very relatable apni personal life se because it's not a very formalized approach jahan pe kuch bhi scripted hai or something like that whatever he has experienced during his graduation and post graduation uske basis pe he is trying to help you out so i think he has very well put up and that also goes with the saying that exam ke liye padhne se pehle exam ko padh lena chahiye so he is telling you that Perfect. what all what all background you have to do what all background research you should do before you get into phd so that's a very well thought process devyam नाउ माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यूएस कि एक बार जब हम नेट जीआरएफ क्लियर कर लेते हैं तो सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज जो स्टूडेंट्स के लिए आता है हाउ डू डू यू चूज योर पीएचडी सब्जेक्ट एरिया कैसे सब्जेक्ट कैसे चूज करना है सो व्हाट आर द पैरामीटर्स व्हाट और व्हाट व्हाट हैज बीन योर अप्रोच इन चूजिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट प्लीज व्यूअर्स को बताइए ओके सो बीइंग एज अ जनरल स्टूडेंट बीइंग एज अ जनरल स्टूडेंट थॉट प्रोसेस वी ऑलवेज लुक फॉर द सब्जेक्ट्स दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अह everywhere in india there is a, there is somewhat related subjects at the mass, bachelor's and master's level as student studies in commerce so just like that i started looking for only for those subjects that i have studied but the one thing is very simple hum wo subjects pad rahe hain jin mein research kafi kuch ho chuka hai one thing is very simple i think every should everybody should keep that in mind that research is about exploring the existing concepts or looking for something new we have to put that in the basic frame of our mind before reading or exploring anything so when you look over the google or when you look for the trending subjects the new publications that you will read uh, i won't say that right away start reading for the research papers because it is difficult to understand them if you do not have the basic conceptual clarity so first step that uh, you should do is look for the basic handbooks now if i talk about iims iims proposes phd in eight major streams like strategy communication hrob finance and accounting so when we talk about commerce students they are more prone towards accounts and finance mm-hmm. so we never know about the other subjects but uh, i would suggest you that start looking for those subjects as well which you haven't studied at your bachelor's and masters level that will give you a briefer idea about the other subjects it is like it is not so that uh, since i haven't studied marketing till yet that is why i cannot do my phd in marketing there are many scholars like many of my friends that have, those who have joined in, in with my batch only they have belong they belongs to a engineering background and now now joining as a core finance field Hmm. like if you look for the profile they work as a software developer and now joining as a finan- like as a finance researcher so where that comes through it comes uh, like they studied the subject on from on their own levels so that is very important secondly as everybody suggests i would suggest to go for the research papers research papers has this section that they mentioned clearly what are the future research prospects hmm. in any of the subject so i have my background with my finance i also da- did uh, some of the certification courses from coursera and udemy like i i did courses over the portfolio management and uh, security analysis financial planning uh, and uh, like behavioral finance Th- uh, thirdly i would say that uh, i i understand my own personality i ke- i feel that that yes i am interested in i i'm always interested in knowing about human beings how human beings behave in their lives how how they react when when any proposal uh, comes in front of them or uh, any decision they have to make and uh, finance has be- become gradual love for me it has like as i have the background i have so i mix both of the concepts and what output that i get is behavioral finance but again i would say i cannot assure myself that yes this is the only subject that i will going to research i studied that again so i started st- like studying the research papers over the subject behavioral finance what researches have been made in that 
in that way i find that yes in the asian countries sufficient researches have not been made till yet mm. in behavioral finance so that again is a plus point for me for that subject so somewhere somewhat you have there are there, that is a combination of various things you have to study your own self your own personality secondly you have to look for the prospects that that subject delivers to you i know it is difficult to switch from the from a subject that you have studied till yet to a different subject like a, a a deep core commerce student cannot go with the marketing we haven't studied yet or if we haven't studied ob till yet but yeah some students have the background like like i did the courses over finance only people used to do that for the other streams because everybody wants to know for the other field that they haven't studied so you know try to catch the every single flame in yourself that yes if if this could be a single process explore that spend your time spend as much time as you can with that subject and do not do not get into the core like deep or the complex things start referring the basic handbooks that you like that we studied at the bachelor's level if i if i'm doing a degree in my let's say if i do my degree in the marketing then what first book that i will read start reading that nobody is bounding you to read yes so yes. that is the like basic framework that everybody should opt for to choose the prospective subject and it is good to start as early as you can because as i said you need to spend time there is no supplement for that there is no bypass for that that you can, that you can get a final thing ki theek hai isme research kar lete hain aisa nahi hoga so if you are sure that you want to go in the research field i would suggest you right after your like right, right after joining for the masters degree start reading for the subjects just don't read the academic subjects that which you going to be marked with start reading the other other subjects i know students have the pressure to focus upon the net jrf but yeah it's a it's a rigorous thing so start preparing yourself from the starting so yeah this is the approach that i use yeah so i think ki divya has already summed up everything so beautifully matlab personality se bhi relate kar diya subject se bhi baat kar di other areas ko explore karne ko bhi bol diya so i think this this approach comes through a lot of practice a lot of dedication a lot of efforts and definitely a lot of looking at one self ki bhai mujhe kya pasand hai so if you are well prepared for the background of finance if you are well prepared yourself holistically then anyway you are go- going to crack beautiful interviews as devyam has yeah. cracked so my next question to you is ki ek bar jab aapne area subject topic wagar chun liya so how did you get deep into it you sab topic mein karna kya because there are a lot of university that often ask for the synopsis part so how do yeah, you yeah, yeah. Do that and how do you get detailed into your topic uske bare mein bhi thoda batai because that will give students a broad idea as to how to start with it so specifically when i talk about iams they they do not ask for a particular research proposal or the synopsis well i would easy, like i would openly confess that even i am not prepared well with a research proposal that i should say that या अगर मैं आज ये प्रपोजल प्रेजेंट करूंगा और मैं कल से पीएचडी करना स्टार्ट कर दूं, बिकॉज आई थिंक दैट्स लॉजिकल आई ऑलवेज एस्पायर टू गेट इनटू द टॉप लाइक गेट इनटू द आई एम्स फॉर माय रिसर्च सो आई स्टडीड देयर पैटर्न द कोर्स पैटर्न दैट दे आर दे आर प्रपोजिंग सो दे ऑफर टू इयर्स ऑफ कोर्स वर्क इनिशियली एंड देन आफ्टर योर रिसर्च प्रोसेस विल स्टार्ट सो इन दोज टू ईयर्स यू विल गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द सब्जेक्ट सम वॉट सो इट यू सो वॉट आई think is one should get into the like one should explore the elements of the subject primarily for example i would say that for the finance i as i told you that for the finance i get interest in the behavioral finance now i started i started reading behavioral finance right from the beginning because as 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 much as as i have the knowledge nobody has this subject at in the mcom i can say that at mba level there are there it is present somewhat but not at the mcom level so yeah i came to know with the various things various aspects that uh, that are present secondly whenever you interact with people when you ever you get in the into the environment of the research people who are affiliated with the research so if in my case my research guide helped me a lot in this way they so we have open discussions like what what researches can be done koi bhi nayi news aayi and they discusses me they discuss with me like see the vim 
it is going in this way they told me about the 3m technologies google winds i i was amazed to see all those things that because it was new to me so with me they told me that my professor is has a very consistent like they have a very close touch with the subject of financial literacy so they told me some one day they told me about financial literacy they told that we can prepare a project over it and all and all so that thought just simply sparks me that why can't i relate financial literacy with behavioral finance so what i'm saying is there is no specific modus operandi that you you will follow and there will be output in in in, in terms of your research topic you know be conscious in your life regarding everything that is turning around you you might get idea from anywhere that what you should do so i am not saying to get depressed with the subject that in which you are but open your eyes that we jo india mein basically nahi hota students mein hamara focus bhai exams wala hi hai abhi bhi meri approach hamesha se ye rahi hai that apart from books as well i always keep my eyes open hmm. i comprehend things at the greater level i can and the this is one of the skills that you require in, while doing your psc if you want to do that psc dedicatedly or originally mm-hmm. if you want to ex- like discover something new propound something new so yeah this is the thing i simply what i can say is look around you explore as many things as you talk to as much people as you can mm-hmm. your circle will going to help you from first day till the end of your life i can say that i have experienced that and Shubham sir is the example of that. Frankly, मतलब sir has helped me in that in many ways as I can. When I when I I'll I'll tell you example when I ask sir that sir I want to go in the field of behavioral finance. They throw three questions to me. Do you know about theories of behavioral finance? ये वो ये वो साने तीन question वैसे पूछे. And you know that put a question mark over me. ये भाई तेरे को कुछ भी नहीं आता अभी. You have to study and they. बहुत ही प्यार से उन्होंने पहले रीड फॉर द बेसिक बुक्स इफ यू वोट प्रिपेयर योर सेल्फ हाउ कैन यू क्लेम दैट यू वॉन्ट टू डू रिसर्च इन दैट सो दैट इज द थिंग दैट यू शुड लुक फॉर टेक योर टाइम आई वुड से टाइम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट योर थॉट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू मस्ट हैव अ स्टोरी फ्लो विद यू दैट इज द थिंग दैट वन शुड गो फॉर सो आई वुड आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू पॉइंट वन थिंग दैट आई हैव ऑलवेज बीन टेलिंग वन थिंग दैट इफ यू do something that you love you will never have to actually work a day in your life work so, a day so if you love your work if you are inclined if you are, if you are passionate about your research topic if it's coming internally from within and not just a matter of degree then definitely you're going to progress also and maza bhi bahut aayega so i i could see i would like I'm, to add one point mm-hmm. uh as uh, i'm like i have done i'm done with my orientation and induction session at iims you know frankly they mailed at 11:30 pm that they need this thing in next 30 minutes so the thing that sir told you that aapko pyar hona chahiye us cheez se fir wo kaam kaam nahi lagega you need this approach thoroughly while doing your phd because many reviews i have read people said that they got sleep in the first year of their phd after that they they have sleepless nights and yes it is a fact i can easily say that i am all looking for those candidates who can read 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 and read tik matlab itni reading capacity aur itni comprehending itni comprehension ki capacity honi chahiye aapki that it should be endless and that comes with the real dedication from your heart so apart from the academic building you must have a emotional and personal building as well that that builds alongside yes. so yeah that is very important and i and i i totally agree with what divya is saying because uh, in these experiences of me interacting with a lot of scholars and professors but i have also realized that every phd candidate is going to tell you his own different story aapki story bilkul hi yeah. alag hone wali hai from where you have started to where 100%. you're going to end so if you love your topic if you love your area you're going to enjoy it else it would become a very tired some or a very boring aspect yeah 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 yeah, yeah. actually yeah, yeah. so my next question to you is that now since uh, everything is uh, discussed based on the topic and the area how did you start your preparations for phd and how did you start preparing what are the elements that you learned or kya kya aapne taiyari ki for your cracking your interviews uh 
so apart from the subject basically as i told you that uh, i started to like i want to go for the behavioral finance accounts as a stream in in that i want to go for the behavioral finance i also did uh, like you need to study that what is the interview pattern uh, uh basically this is a fallacy that uh, not enough of the content is available over internet that what fpm interviews is all about how how they will going to be more wherever they, you will read you will find that it is inconsistent i would say it may be differs from candidate to candidate as well your area, it can differs with your area definitely at every i am there is a specific panel for every subject for the finance candidate there is a different panel for the strategy candidate there is a different panel who is taking interview so somewhat it depends on the thought process of the interviewer sitting there but in a generic thought i came to know that i have to prepare one of the subjects that like some of the subjects in the finance like in the finance that i have studied at my masters level mm. because that was a very consistent question that i have read over google uh, secondly i also studied bit about uh, statistics as well as research methodology so it is very important uh, i am i can talk about i am like i am in iit specifically prefer those candidates who have a good knowledge of the statistics and research methodology in statistics they talk about they do, do not go very complex that we haven't studied they they definitely understands that you came from a masters level then there is a set of knowledge that you will going to have so they will ask about the basic topics like uh, correlation regression basic me, basic central tendency in research methodology they will ask about the basic hypothesis testing what is hypothesis how so they if if i share my instance they they ponders me with the fact that uh, what is the if you have a limited number of population uh, i know it's a bit technical point some of the students might not get but uh, if you have the data for the whole of the population then why will you pick the sample size so it is such a basic question but they drills me over it for for the 15 minutes and at the end with the somewhat i got blind that theek hai matlab i have nothing to say so it is not so that they will ask a more, very complex prepare your subject accordingly so i think all the students have got three pointers here one is that you need to get into the subject the second is you need to read about research methodology and research part and the third part is you have to be well versed with the basics of statistics so i think devam has put up very properly that in teeno mein se kahin se bhi questions aa sakte hain so be very well prepared for this particular aspect so that whatever they are asking they are able to understand that yes you are well prepared you are well researched with what you want to do so my next question to you is devam is that how has been your iim interview was there subject specific was it topic specific kaisa tha wo uske bare mein bhi kuch bataiye hum to uh, i would like to suggest miss all the candidates that do apply to all the iims and iits i would suggest very strongly that uh, more the interviews you will give better you will be every interview is a different story it's like a different movie you enjoy you like i have appeared for all the like i got calls from majority of the iims uh even now i cannot set a definition that i am's kind of aisa hoga some are talking about economics some are talking about the hr element some are talking about the technical subject so you cannot simply say that yes this this is the pattern that how interview goes uh if i talk about my experience the interview is more of the subject specific rather than topic specific because i am has a very basic thought process that uh, they do not want a candidate to be very apt about the topic he want to go for the research they basically wants to check the acumen of the subject his ability to go for the research even they they even the subject that you proposes them for your research they check they tend to check that how much you are you have prepared so that they can check your agility for that subject so i would say that uh, be strong with at least two or three of the elements three of, of the subjects in your field if i talk about finance then i would say that if you are like the subjects portfolio management 
security analysis, uh, mutual funds, then they will ask, they will directly ask you which subject you like at, at your master's level. So those will throw the whole of the interview over that only. There were some interviews where they didn't even ask a single question about my topic. And there were several interviews where they totally pondered over the topic. So it's a very subjective thing. It varies with the interview. I would say that uh, be prepared with the thing. There could be anything. It, it is a surprise mm-hmm. in a box. It could be anything. Yes. So that means you have to be prepared for all the aspects. Like Divyam has already told you that it is every interview will have a different story. So you have to keep your subject ki knowledge bhi hai and you have to have some basic knowledge about the other subjects as well. Because maybe the questions might be put up that you have done MCOM or you have post-graduation mein subject. Padha hai. So you can ask some basic questions from that topic. Bhi ja sakte. Overall, I can say that uh, uh, FPM interviews are liye different hai ki hum, hamari aadat hoti yes. ke ke hmm. can ask you anything about yourself, your life, your experiences. Hmm. Yes. 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 Yeah. That could be pucha ja sakta hai. So be very well Kuch prepared. Ja yes. Yeah. So my last question to you now, Divyam, is that what is one aspect or what is one advice that you would be giving to all the upcoming students who have qualified their UGC net and would be applying for their PhDs at various places? Okay. So one thing that I can suggest everyone is be very sure, be very clear about the thought that you want to go for the research. Understand research first before getting into research. That what research is all about. How this whole field works. See, uh, ultimately, this is a prof- this will turn up to be a profession for your whole of your life. So understand that thing that uh, will uh, am I able to do this for all of my life? Kya main ye sab ye is ek is tarah ka line apni life ke liye choose karne ko ready hoon kya? PhD in itself is a very rigorous process that everybody knows. We do not need any more validations for that. But difficult things become simple when you are dedicated as, as we have discussed that earlier as well. So be start in advance, I would say. Start in advance. As early as you will start, as better you will feel, as confident you will feel. Jitna process mein aage badte jaoge, you will get to know many more elements of the thing. So I would say that uh, be very open to yourself. You need not to answer anyone else, but yeah, be very open and sure with yourself that yes, I want to go in the field of research for my, as my career aspect. So this is the thing because uh, many suggestions have been given regarding preparations that how you should prepare for an interview, for an exam. As I told, you cannot frame anything for interview. Like this will going to be interview. However, there is a pattern for net JRF. Like you can prepare in a specific way. You can wait, prepare in a planned way and you can crack it. Yes. But apart from it, as you know, net JRF has very limited options. Like both the come options data and net JRF is for the students who want to go for the research or either for the teaching field. It is not like a generic exam like CAT. That's a thousands of options. You, you can go anywhere, but it's not like that. So be very specific before opting for anything. That is the like a piece of advice that I would. Like. I think that that is something that he is telling you that before you get into PhD, at least be very sure that you want to do research and you want to have that life. Yeah. Else you're gonna yes. regret it throughout your throughout your life. Ki maine kya le liya. So I have seen kya scholars actually ki once they get into the PhD, they start realizing that this is something I don't want to do. I cannot tolerate this and all that stuff. Yeah, people get attracted with the fellowship that uh, UGC offers or uh, someone somewhat who want to go for a break. They thought that let's go for the PhD. I think that should not be the modus operandi, especially for the top notch institutions. Yes. The, insti- the professors, those who are say, those who are there to take, uh, those who are there for your interview is very apt. They are doing their job for past many years. They can, they can identify that thing with the first look when they are getting. Or kisi aur ka loss nahi hai yaar aapka khud ka loss hai agar aap aapne isko wisely choose nahi kiya to you will going to suffer 
because you got in such a mediocre, mediocre situation that you won't be able to move either of the sides. Yes. So yes. choose that thing very smartly. So I think uh, I don't need much to say because uh, Divyam has shared his beautiful personal experience. You could see ki kitna personally relate karke unhone apne experiences se apne examples se aapko cheeze samjhai hain. And I'm sure ki jo bhi aaj unhone bataya hai all the insights about the preparation. एंड अबाउट द आई एम इंटरव्यू उसके बारे में बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स को नहीं पता होता है तो आपको बहुत अच्छी नॉलेज एंड अवेयरनेस मिल गई है रेस्ट इट इज ऑल अप टू यू गाइज टू मेक दैट एफर्ट एंड क्रैक इंटरव्यूज तो थैंक यू सो मच दिव्यम फॉर टेकिंग आउट टाइम फ्रॉम योर बिजी शेड्यूल आई नो दैट यू जस्ट एडेड विद स्कॉलर एंड बहुत कुछ पढ़ने का होगा बट स्टिल यू हैव फाउंड टाइम सो आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द होल टीम ऑफ अनुजिंद थैंक यू सो मच फॉर थैंक यू Thank you so much, sir. And uh, it's been an honor for me to share the experience. I haven't shared it with like anyone like this over this over the platform. But it will be grateful for me that if I could share even a single detail. If my any information, one insight, be किसी को help कर पाता है तो it will be great. And I would say I'm easily available over LinkedIn, Facebook. If anybody wants to connect, however, मेरे गुरु खुद हैं सामने. So I would I would won't be able to say that. But if someone wants to No, personally, then I am open. I am easy to talk. You can connect with me any time. Okay, so thank you so much, Divyam. It was lovely talking to you, and and I'm sure that everyone who is gonna this watch this video and interview of yours is gonna love because you have actually shown that what reality is. So all those interviews that are being available on different YouTube channels, वहाँ पे reality कम होती है. It's more of a formal scripted thing. But ये interview देखते हुए students realize कर लेंगे that it's a very informal and a personalized interview that we have conducted so thank you once again thank you thank you so